All right, guys, so we're out here at a undisclosed location. Can't really say, as you can see. Uh, there's been some activities done over here that have uh, helped make this video. This was not my doing. But today we're gonna be talking about the drag setup for an MT-12. So the MT-12 is a very powerful radio and wanted to open it up to you guys, uh, the, especially the drag guys, you know, cause this is the perfect spot for it. This is pretty close to Mexico. Actually, I think we're in Mexico. What do you think, man? I think we're at an undisclosed location. Undisclosed location, yeah. So we are going to be running this little guy. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. Um, this is not a perfect setup. Uh, this is a unprepped surface. It's pretty terrible, if I'm being honest. It's really dirty back here because it's, you know, just had salt put down. But we're going to run it anyway and uh, at least get to show you guys what the actual setup can do. So let's do it. So for this setup, guys, we actually have a kill switch, just like most of the other controllers out there. Um, so you will have your little kill switch here. You can hold down. I call it a trans brake. I know it's not. Uh, but you hold down your trans brake, hold full throttle, and as you can see, nothing is happening. But when I let go, it plays. So what I'm gonna show you guys is just the delay that I have set up and the curve that I have set up. So let's check it out. So I can't really show you what this is and for the people that know, they know, but look at how sticky these tires are. You can see how terrible this is out here. It's just nothing but rocks and salt. These are all pieces of salt right here. So it's not the best surface, but we're at least gonna make the best of it. So what you do is you hold your throttle at full after holding this button here, hold full throttle, and then we're ready to party. And you wreck it and break it. No, I'm just kidding. All right, as you guys can see, we actually broke it. Uh, so it's all right. We're at least gonna show you guys how to do this kind of setup um, so you guys can kind of understand how to use the MT-12 to your advantage with drag racing. So let's go over to the studio and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this setup. It is not very hard. There's a few steps you guys need to do and I think it's a little bit more customizable than most radios out there. So let's go check it out. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're back from running the car outside and kind of showing you the capabilities of the MT-12 and a drag car. So I'm gonna run through the actual setup here and then I'll kind of show you how it works. Welcome to HTX. All right, so, so as far as the actual setup for this, um, it's fairly simple. Uh, there's a few things I had to do. Um, so th the biggest thing that you need to do is, what we're gonna do is gonna go over to your mixes. This is where you're gonna get the actual, you know, the mixes of the radio. So this is what you're gonna do for your actual throttle. So you can slow your throttle down when you're giving it throttle and also be able to select a curve. So I'll show you how to do that. So what you're gonna do is you'll click on, I already have it on there, but basically you'll click on insert after and you'll get a second throttle right there. Now that second throttle, what we're gonna do is click edit and we're gonna scroll down source. It won't have anything selected, but you select it. I hit my throttle it says throttle. Okay. Now, when you come down here, you see curve and it says custom. So it will probably say function on it, but scroll over to custom and then select the first one, which I have as drag or DRA. Um, so that right there is going to be the actual curve you're gonna mess with. So I'll show you that here in a second, but we'll continue on with this. This also will um, help you with, yeah, let's see here. So I actually have it set up on a switch. Um, so I activate it. Um, it makes it easier. So when you get done with a run, you don't have that delay in there still. Um, so I switch it to normal mode basically so I can drive the car back and not worry about it. Now I don't run reverse in my cars, but this is just kind of a racing thing to begin with. Um, it makes it easier because the problem with the reverse, the way I have this set up, I haven't quite figured it out yet other than making a second curve and basically making a curve just for the reverse. Um, what happens is basically you'll hit reverse and then you'll hit your kill switch, let go of your kill switch. And what it'll do is that kill switch held the throttle up there. And as soon as you let go, it's still coming down slowly because the return is just as slow as the up. Um, so I'll have to show you guys that in a later video on how to fix that. But for now, most drag guys I imagine don't run reverse. 
Um, so this is probably a pretty easy thing. So I just have it deactivated in the ESC. So anyway, back to this. So you're gonna go to switch if you want to, or if you don't want to, don't select anything there. If you want to active all the time. So the thing you are looking for is slow up. You don't want delay up. Delay up would be like you hit the throttle, one, two, then it goes. So the really cool part about the slow up, I'm actually gonna crank it up so you can really see what it does. So I have it at six seconds. So it will play the curve that you select for six seconds. So I hold my, my uh, throttle cut here and then hold full throttle, let go of it. And as you can see, it's slowly playing the curve. Um, so that is gonna be how you guys get the launches for these cars. Um, I've seen a lot of people edit it to where they have only, I think it's like six or seven curves. Um, the really cool part about this radio is I think you can have up to like 17 curves or 17 points on your throttle curve. Um, so it's pretty wild. Uh, so I'll go in and show you guys that next. So now that we have the mix set up for this, um, as you saw earlier, I actually had two mixes set up for this. So, um, so that first one, I recommend going in here and you'll select the second curve. You'll do the same thing. It'll be for throttle. Um, so select your source, select throttle, come down to curve, same thing, go to custom and then curve two. Um, so this is actually going to be your brake. So as you can see, there is no delay on this at all. So the way this works is this basically makes it to where you hit the brake and the brakes actually work uh, regularly instead of having a delay on them. Um, so that will be your first curve, uh, which will be just for the brakes. And then the other one will be for the um, actual throttle curve. So. Now that we have both of those set up, we're gonna go into curves. Uh, so the first curve, as you can see, um, I selected, let's see here. So the maximum amount of points you can have is 17. You can do 17 steps in your throttle. It's a crazy amount of tuning, uh, way more tunability than most radios out there. So if you get half track and your car starts lifting or something like that, you can dial that down. Um, so it's, it's a pretty cool little setup here. So I only have 15 uh, just to make it easier. So the really cool part is not only can you select how much is on these points, you can actually tell it where to go. So say if you want this one a little closer to you know, your zero throttle, and you want it to be super touchy as soon as you touch it, you can actually turn it to the back, or you can actually back it up a little bit or move it forward. Um, so I'm gonna put that one back to where I had it here. Um, so yeah, you can actually move these points. So I'll show you right here. You can move the X axis to where if you want it to go from basically zero It'll go from 0, 20, 20, 20, and then you want it to go straight out to 80, you can do that. Instead of it trying to slowly ramp up, you can really do whatever you want with this radio. And I just really like, like the tunability of this. This is crazy. So that was my tune for the video that we just did. Um, like I said, I'm not really a drag guy. I only got this car because I'm a huge super fan. Uh, so I had to get the a drag car. Uh, but. I basically just set it up just to show you guys what it can do. And as I said, I have no idea how to launch these cars correctly. Um, I'm gonna leave all that tunability up to you guys. I'll give you guys all of the um, ideas basically, and then you guys run with it. But, so as I said, the way you can do that is the curves. So this curve, if you notice, it stops at zero when you go basically below throttle. So this is your center, uh, center basically where you have no throttle. Um, and then this is your full throttle and this is your brake. So right now the brake does nothing on this. So that is the really cool part about the second curve that I have set up. It's only for my brake. So when I give it brakes, it will actually react just as fast as it normally would and it won't have the delay put on it. Um, so that is basically, I just have it set up with three uh, cause I just need brakes to work correctly. I don't need them to be ramped down or anything like that. Um, so yeah, as you can see again, curve one, I use that for my throttle and then curve two is for my brakes. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to show you guys how to tune basically this. So after you have all of this set up, 
um, you can actually go down here to edit um, and say if, oh man, that was way too slow off the line, you can turn this up. It goes all the way, I mean, you can go all the way from 0.1 to 25 seconds. 25 seconds is ridiculous. I know you'll never use it, but it has that tunability that you guys can do that with. Um, so you can really control this thing on how fast it goes. It's very literal. These are in seconds. They're not in percentages. Um, it just works. So I'm going to leave it. I think I had it at like almost 1.8 or something like that or 1.7, but regardless, that doesn't matter. That is how you will tune the actual way, the, um, the length of the ramp up. So basically what you're saying is it's going to take 1.7 seconds to get to full throttle after you let go of your kill switch, basically. So on the note of the kill switch, I'll show you guys how to do that. That's super simple. That's probably one of the easiest things out of all of this. So you're going to go all the way over to special functions. I'll make another one just to show you down here. Basically you'll click and you'll scroll up. Okay. As you can see, it's active. So all you got to do is press on it and it should say down basically. Um, so I'm actually just using this little thumb guy right here. You can use this one here if you want, or you can use this one up in here, whatever you want to use. I use that one because it's a momentary switch, super simple. So you're going to go SC down. That's going to override channel. I think it's two. Nope. Channel one. Um, so you'll override channel one and you just check it. And now when you go all the way back, so as you can see, channel one, my throttle is playing, my throttle is working. When I press it down, there is no throttle at all. So it's, it is a really nice way to do your launches. So you can hold it. And then as you can see, it will play. As soon as I let go of it, it'll play the actual throttle curve. Um, so if you guys have any questions about this setup, um, let me know this setup. It definitely took a little time to learn, I, but I absolutely love working on this kind of stuff. So if you guys have any other setups you guys are wondering about, give us a holler. Um, I think the drag guys will really benefit from ELRS because uh, it's one of the fastest systems out there. The receivers are $16.99 without a antenna on it. It's super small, as I showed you guys in the videos from before. Uh, they're really small, so they're easy to put wherever you want on the car. They're not a lot of weight, so you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Uh, but the receivers are cheap. The remote is cheap. The controller comes with a receiver. It actually comes with the three channel one without a antenna on it. So it's, if you get this, you're ready to, to go into your drag racing stuff. Um, you could do all this programming and more. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. I gotta go fix a car. Let's go. Spectacular. Yeah, she done. <laughs>